time to blow out his toys and we're all Indiana Jones now again we're going to be looking at one of these games join me next time when we look at that one that looks quite interesting uh, but we're going to be looking they're, they're, they're both Funko games by the way Funko games so um, I went looking for a game that is coming out on the 30th which we'll be getting that as well but I saw these two so you know I thought I'd get them so we're going to have a look at them um, we're not going to be I think this is more of a younger age so we've got the uh, age 7 plus 2 to 10 players 30 minutes so it's, this is going to be like a younger age and this is for 10 plus uh, one or more players that's a more of an adult game so we'll be looking at in the next video so press that bell icon when you subscribe so you know when that's going to be coming out so Obviously, we get in the idol. I've not got the bit at the bottom. <laughs> We've got. Um, we're, we're gonna oh, let's get it open because you, you can see by the illustration, it's more of a probably a kiddie. And it's 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 H seven, so it's not too much kiddie fight, is it? It's, uh, so we're gonna get everything out. So there we go. We've got uh, things all nicely packed in there. That's a bit. I don't know what that is, but it's a bit. It's a it's a, it's a mask which is uh, damaged, which is not a good start. Um, I've not read the instructions on this. Uh, we're not we're not actually going to be playing. I'm just going to uh, unbox it and do a review. So we've got this the sandbag, which is a bit like a soft toy, like a dog toy. And that is a bit as well. So they're, they're really, that's a bit harder plastic than that. It's really soft plastic. But they are plastic. Um, we've, got <laughs> we've got an arrow. Uh, we've got some counters. We've got the instructions. We'll I'll look. We'll look through the instructions. And we'll go through some of the rules and give you a bit of an idea how to play this. Uh, we've got some cards. I think what you do is you you build a path pathway, which. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's interesting. Uh, we've got some, we've got some more cards there, bigger cards, uh, probably telling you what's what's going to happen. Uh, right in the box. We've got a, a foam foam type of whip and a spider there too, and we've got the. I think you put the idle on there or something like that. I think you put that in the middle, you put the idle on. And um, yeah, we're gonna read the get an idea of the instructions with that. So it's something that you'd be interested in. It's like I say it's probably more of a younger age to play. Look at that. <laughs> there's your uh, there's your counters. So I don't know why you've got the uh, the blindfold, but there we go. So the instructions aren't very long. Set up, uh, place the idle chamber tile on the centre, like I said, put that in the middle. And this that's how you set it up. Uh, uh, shuffle the cards, blah, blah, blah. Object of the game. The game is played over three rounds. In each round, the team competes in a temple race to reach the golden idol. Uh, the, the race winner faces the opposing team in a daring challenge. Teams earn score tokens by winning the temple races and performing well in the daring challenges. When your team earns a score token, you may look at the number on it and keep it secret from the other team. After three rounds, a team with the most points and their score token wins. Um, doesn't sound that, you know, interesting, does it? At the moment, but uh, temple race, before the race, make sure that each team has uh, face-up cards down the path and a row of three facing down cards. Each team chooses one player to be the explorer for the round. You choose a different explorer each round. When both teams are ready, someone calls out, nobody come out of there alive, and both the explorers flip the three cards in a row face up. Now the explorers start racing towards the temple. Uh, think fast and play as quickly as you can. This is a race. So, yeah, uh, okay. Um... Choose one of the three cards in your row and you play it in your path. To play the card, you must match the symbol on the card to play it to a card in the path lining up to the doorways. So, basically, you, 
you allowed you're lining these up and you've got to I don't know just choose one of these choose one of three cards in your row play on your path so you've got you've got these cards and you've got to you've got to do it's a bit like dominoes isn't it I suppose so you've got to match it match them up to make the path as long as the symbol matches the cards can be played horizontally vertically it'll be offset the, uh, you only need to match one symbol even if it's two symbols line up right so yeah so you that's uh, that's okay the cards cannot overlap any part of the card that is already in the path right okay um only the explorer from each team can play cards to the path the other players may flip cards from the deck to refill the row and point out possible matches. Continue playing cards to extend your path until the team reaches the idle chamber. See so race winners on next page. Look everywhere for possible matches. The path may fork and uh, playing a card in a different direction can be worth it to get a new card. If you are stuck without a match, pick up the last card you played and replay another way or play a different card play another way or play a different card if you have played all your cards pick up the two cards and the start of the path furthest from the idle chamber and continue playing so you're stuck with the same cards basically aren't you? race winners when an explorer plays a card in the path they overlays any part of the idle chamber tile they grab the golden idol as long as the path is correct and the cards in the path follow the rules their team wins the race if another part of the path isn't correct the other team wins the race instead the race winners earn a gold score token and flip the top challenge card from the deck. The opposing team, team still participates in the game challenge to try and score and win the race winners and keep the race winners from scoring. Daring challenge. Read the challenge card out loud. These must be the challenge cards then. Um, set up race winners. Choose a, a player to each guard and another thief. Opposing team chooses a player to be the other. Put on the, the blindfold and sit on the ground. Lean forward and stretch out as far as you can and take the golden idol to the ground. Then take the arrow. The thief, take the sandbag. When ready, start a 30 second timer. The thief tries to swap the sandbag for the idol. The guardian must remain seated and can wave or throw the arrow to try and hit it. <laughs> from the thief okay the arrow cannot be retrieved both teams must remain silent okay I bet that's gonna happen uh, the guardian scores if they touch the thief with the arrow or the thief doesn't swap it in time the thief scores if they swap in time without getting touched or the guardian knocks over the idol interesting right so um, that's just one of them. I mean, there's 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 a few of different different ways of uh, daring challenges. So yeah, end of the game. Play three rounds, including three temple races and three daring challenges. During the last daring challenge of the game, both teams earn double the number of score tokens listed on the challenge card. After the last daring challenge, both teams flip over the, their score tokens and add up the points. The team with the most points wins. In case of a tie, do additional daring challenges with the same race winners until the tie is broken I hope you understood that I hope you understood that I mean basically you um, you learn more when you play don't you once you play you learn more so it, it seems like a good a good little challenge for I say younger younger players 2-10 to 10 players it's at 30 minutes um, you, you throw in an arrow <laughs> so yeah it does sound it does, does sound okay um, it's probably not something I would have picked up had it not been Indiana Jones. I just obviously picked this up because it's Indiana Jones, and you know, it's it's Raiders of Lost Ark based. So yeah, uh, if you're interested in that, I will leave a link to the. It's not I'm not affiliated to Amazon anymore, but I will leave a link uh, if you want to go buy that. So that's that is. Indiana Jones throw me the idol. So you enjoyed that? Join me next time. 
for Indiana Jones Cryptic. A puzzle, a pathways, adventure. Thank you for watching. And I made the toys be with you. Look, I'm under what? Gentlemen, this is Democracy Manifest.